they're doing, which is, you know, every club does the best, but I think Reading are, you know, unbelievable, the amount of work that they do in the community every season and, you know, bridging that gap between professional footballers and, and young children who are, who are working hard to become professional footballers and, you know, they can come here and enjoy themselves and it's fantastic and, you know, if it takes one of us to turn up and, and give half an hour of our time, it, it's nothing to us and, you know, you see the smiles on the face of the young kids, it, it makes their day. Good little uh, Q&A there as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was very good. Some very good questions, actually. Yeah, it was. It's enjoyable, you know. It, it's enjoyable for us as well. You know, it, it is enjoyable to come out and, and see the work that the, the boys in the community are putting in. And, you know, like I said, they, they can come and enjoy the school holidays and, and play football. And, um, like I said, they get to play in these facilities. We use these facilities as well. So, you know, it's like playing the same way as we do. How important do you think it is for a club like Reading to get involved with the kids and other people in the community? A massive, definitely, because you know you see how many players come through the academy. You never know some of these players, uh, the young lads and girls as well that are coming through. They might be the next, you know, batch of players that make it into the academy and into the first team. There's a clear path for young players to to train hard and work hard and get into our first team. And um, yeah, you know. You can get spotted playing here like we all did. We all got spotted playing in little things like this and at least the bigger and better things for them. Do you enjoy coming down and doing stuff like this? Definitely, yeah. I mean, um, me and my wife do things for charity in Burnley. Um, obviously, it's, it's an underprivileged town. So, yeah, it's nice that um, you know to see that the, that the work goes on down here as well as um, what it does back home as well. Um, did you ever get involved in stuff like this? Obviously, you you started off as a youngster at Manchester United, but did you ever come and do you know soccer schools or anything like this? Yeah, um, there was always a thing at, in the Burnley summer holidays at the it's called the Thompson Centre. I remember the, we used to all go there. Um, players that have gone on to play international football as well used to be there. It's, it's good fun, you know. They can come. There's no pressure on the on the, the boys and girls to come and enjoy the football and like I said to him, you've you just got to enjoy yourself. If you're not enjoying it, then there's no point doing it. Although you've got to work hard, it is a lot of hard work, but the most important thing at this age is that they enjoy the football and you never know where it can take you.